what was the first living animal to appear upon the earth? Well, the Bible's very clear about this. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the swarming creature. And the Hebrew word charetz here is a generic word. It applied to the ancient Hebrews that there was a wide variety of different kinds of living things that occurred. Let's take a look at this little fossil collection that I have here on the table. And notice as you look at these fossils that all of these creatures that you see here are water creatures. We see crinoids. That's an echinoderm. It's a water creature. We see brachiopods. We saw some of these when we looked at the Grand Canyon. We see shark's teeth. We see trilobites. And we notice that in the original bedrock, and these are two different pieces of bedrock, that what we see are the remains of brachiopods, like this one over here. We see small crinoids, like the one that we see here. This is a drill core that I took out of an oil rig that I was involved with. And this particular coral was taken from very, very early in the Earth's history at the bottom layers. And if you look carefully at the bottom of this, I think you can see the little crinoids there. The point is that the fossil record accurately describes the fact that the first living things upon the Earth were water creatures. And that the word that is chosen is a generic word which indicates that a wide variety of living creatures were involved.